So, Ebony, you have not been shy about admitting that you are a size queen. Oh, yeah. So, um, who's the biggest guy that you've been with in the industry? Like, people we would know. So, initially, it was Julio Gomez, but I believe he's now retired out. Um, so I it- think I've seen pictures of him and it's like a third leg yeah he was signed to vixen and then i don't know what he's doing now so he was i did a bj scene with him and i was like what i thought i had like strep throat afterwards (laughs) then i had to think about it like girl you just took down a trunk out your throat oh okay it's the dick sucking so no strep throat it was great but he's retired so now it's bk brick and we've measured him hard and soft so soft he's like 13 and a half but erected he's almost like 15 inches and this is no bull crap holy shit yeah like okay so how how do you take that like what do you is that i don't know and i'm not point, even the girl that t- takes it i'll be seeing some of them girls smash him like mm-hmm. how is that getting in your body child so yeah. i do it through prayer through prayer yeah 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 prayer how does that work I'm like oh lord please help <laughs> Help me right now. Because how? But I think of it as like, well, children come out of these holes. This is true. So if that's the case, I can take this. And then I think about the other girls have done it. It's like, as long as I'm not going to die here, Mm -hmm. just do it. Just Mm -hmm. hurry up and like, let me enjoy it. So a lot of lube, a lot of prayer, a lot of practice before Mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. Because we've done a lot of like one anal scenes. No, we did two. I think we did two. I know we did one. See, I can't even remember. And I think we're not doing any more. We're not going to do any more, guys. You got that team. <laughs> I have to walk here. But uh, it's just a lot of um, a lot of preparation, I think, when you take bigger, yeah. bigger dicks. Do you find... I've heard some girls say that actually anal sex with big dicks is easier than vaginal sex. How, how is it for you? Is it... I think those girls are monstrous... <laughs> <laughs> sluts with capital S. Like, go, girl. Like, can I train? Let me get your app or training. You know what, though? I will tell you. So Excuse I me. interviewed Lucy Hart, who's a trans woman. and she- I was going to say that. My trans, like, my gay community, they have the best advice for anal. Well, so there's this doctor in New York who apparently is, like, a butthole expert. Wow. And can you can get surgery to make anal sex easier for you. Because I, I guess everyone's up. anal cavity is different. Like, some goes straight back. Some, like, bends exactly. down or something it's like true. that. So you and could I get mean. your anal cavity straightened out to the point where taking a big dick would be much easier for you. We might have to go on the, um, we might have to get that number. I don't mind. I'm like, I don't mind no surgery. Like, help, <laughs> help me. But that's the thing, too. The anal cavity is different for everybody. Mm-hmm. So there is, like, things that you should know. Like, there is what people must know about sex. Like, when you get in the industry, you really start to learn about sex. Mm-hmm. Like, you think you're fucking. Nah. <laughs> when you get in the industry, you learn it as an art. Like, this is, like, why? Wow, I even know my body can do that. Or I didn't even know that people do that. Or, like, what? Like, you know, you really start to learn. So I learned with anal. If it initially goes, first of all, a lot of lube. And I love, like, anal rockets. I don't mm-hmm. know if you guys know what that is, but you, lube is really important for this aspect of sex. Mm-hmm. That hole is not usually, ex- I mean, it's tight mm-hmm. and very vascular. So if you were to put, there's this um, thing where you can put lube inside your butt already, like mm-hmm. you, an anal rocket. So there's lube inside of there. And then there's, is it kind of like one of those? Like, um, a, syringe, like a syringe, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've and had one of those. Uh-huh. So you can buy these like syringes for anal, not like guys. Listen to what I'm saying, please. I have to clarify things. I know <laughs> they're anal syringes for sex, and you'll put lube in them, and then you'll shoot it in your butt. And so there's already lube in there, and mm-hmm. that's amazing because now it's lubed inside. Mm-hmm. And then the guy puts it on his penis, and the gliding is amazing. But I think um, bowl preparation. There's like uh, balloons mm-hmm. that you can use. Mm-hmm. I get this from my shout out to my gay community because <laughs> I know everything from. So like you can pump up your behind mm-hmm. and 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 it kind of loosens it up. Butt plugs for me don't work. Hmm. I think that's not. I think it's just for a look because as soon as those things come out, it's like help. <laughs> like that didn't work out at all. So so the know. balloon thing, so it can go in your butt and then uh-huh. you can inflate it. Yes. And then you can kind of change the side while it's mm-hmm. inside your anal cavity. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So the other thing is now when it's inserting, if it hurts, have them pull out mm-hmm. and try a different 
angle. Like you would adjust yourself and try it again. Mm -hmm. So the anal cavity is important. Mm -hmm. So that is true. Mm -hmm. It's just the same thing like the vag too, I think, though. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you have to adjust because it's not always comfortable with mm -hmm. it. You know, you got to like adjust and then it feels better. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I learned. So sometimes when it hurts, when it initially goes in, have them take out and try, adjust and try again. Mm -hmm. And then maybe they'll have a better glide in. Mm. I love like you bring like your extensive medical knowledge to so this right. participation. I'm like, look, guys. Yeah, like vascular. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like tight in there. So be careful. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> what do you do to prepare for anal scenes? Anything in particular? I do a lot of like meditation. Like it's really important for me to be relaxed mm. because I'm not like an anal queen at no one really accesses that so much, so much in my normal life. So it's mm -hmm. really tight in there. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really important for me to be relaxed. So I do a lot of meditation before I bathe. Like I'll take like, like my little bath bomb bath and mm -hmm. really get into myself before I have an anal scene. Mm -hmm. And then before we actually fuck, I do ask for some time mm -hmm. to loosen up with my guy. Because mm -hmm. I gotta, I don't, we, there's certain things you guys can't see yeah. in production. You guys must know. Yeah. Uh, so I just wanna be comfortable. Right. And let it glide in. So we warm up. Yeah. I warm up before I know things. But do you like, do you do any kind of like. So I don't eat like 12 I was gonna say like meal. Like 12 hours before I, I, I used to kill myself when I first started because I was like, I was like, I'm not about to be the poopy queen. <laughs> no, I'm not Ebony. You wanna be the anal queen, yeah, not the poopy okay. queen. Okay. <laughs> so I don't want that accident, not that girl. So I used to really like, before I had an anal scene, like literally like 12 hours before, like nothing to eat. Like that's sick. Mm -hmm. like, don't do that, girl. Yeah. So I learned my body, which is important. So do an anal scene, figure it out. And like, I'm good with like six hours before. And sometimes mm -hmm. I can even eat like 30 minutes before I could have lunch. Cause mm -hmm. I mean, come on, it takes your body time to like manage. But the point is you have to know your body. Mm -hmm. So I'm at like maybe six hours before I don't eat. I'll just drink clear liquids and mm -hmm. Gatorade and stuff like that. Gummy bears are safe for me. So mm -hmm. I do gummy bears. Rice, you can do rice cause it's a carb. Mm -hmm. White rice is okay. Mm -hmm. You're not really, it kind of says a start. So it's going to more constipate you than make you poopy. Mm -hmm. So that's safe. But not like rice with like spinach in it or greens. Like I'm mm -hmm. talking just white rice, guys. Survival. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, you do your anal cleaning. That's really important. So I do that in the morning. Like before, when I get up, I'll do like an enema. Mm-hmm. And get that together. And then right before my scene, I ask for an hour time. I'll do it again. Make sure I'm nice and clean. And then we get to fuck in. Mm -hmm. And then, like, usually it's, like, 20 minutes of hell and heaven at all at the same time. But I <laughs> I don't die. So I'm still here. So it, it happens. it's fine for me. I don't mind them. <laughs> so what is it about, like, so you said you were a size queen. What is it about, like, the big dicks that you love? Like, is it? When they're it, hard. <laughs> Like, well, they look yeah. like huge, extra-large <laughs> Snicker bars. And it's like, wow. Like, you're, like, the size of my arm. Like, what the hell? You're blessed. Like, why do you have this big dick? It makes you, like, want to ask some questions. Like, you really walk around with this one. Yeah. And the fact that it's, like, hard for me. Mm hmm So it's almost like a visual thing, too. It's like very there's, visual for me. Like, there's so much. It's like a peacock with, like, the big oh, feathers. There behind. you go. And I love peacocks. <laughs> I'm that girl at the zoo. Like, let's move on. Like, no. <laughs> They're, like, peacocking. I want to stay here forever. You go to the bears. I like this. So it's just the visualization and the fact that it's just big. And I like mm -hmm. I like everything big. Yeah. Glamorous. So what if, okay, so, so for- <laughs> But all dicks matter. Yeah. <laughs> just saying. What so for that? the for the guys who aren't necessarily as well endowed, um, what kind of advice would you give to them to sexually please someone like you? Learn how to fuck her to death. Like literally, like if it's oral, if it's with your, if you'd like fingering girls, maybe incorporate toys and not get jealous. It's just a toy. Mm -hmm. It's helping the situation. Don't mm -hmm. be mad at it if we want to pull out a wand. It's not like... Uh, guys can sometimes get annoyed with girls enjoying toys, mm -hmm. especially the wand. Shout out to the wand because it's just orgasmic. But I think it's certain things that human beings probably can't really do anyway. Like, how are you going to get your tongue to, like, vibrate for real? Yeah. 
<laughs> that's like, true. come on, let's just this be realistic. True. So yeah. I think smaller and not endowed people should just be confident in their sexual act and really fuck, like ha- enjoy it. Because mm-hmm. I've, I've ran from small dick, but they're literally like being wild. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they're like doing other shit like with the other parts of their body that is like fucking me up. Like, whoa. So I don't even mind their dick being small. I just want it to get hard and get in my pussy so we can like get that penetration too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So kind of like a, more of like a, a con- like a confidence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Don't yeah. have small man complex. Mm-hmm. Complex. Let's have big dick energy. Big even dick if you're energy. small. Even if you're not a big dick. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It might be easier said than done for some people, I guess. It's we just could, like. Well, take it from Ebony and Holly. Like, it's totally okay. That's how God made you. And if not, get surgery. They have all kind of things. Penile implants. Now, I know that they have implants that can help you get hard if you're having erection problems, but can they really, like, make I your dick bigger? bigger? I have to research that. But, I, but, even, but that's the thing. Like, small, hard. Hard can fit in pussy. Mm-hmm. Like, and we can fuck. Yeah. The main thing is, like, we need it extended. So, we, and hard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hard. <laughs> it's very important for any size dick. 